Hi there, it's Dirty Girl with another vintage haul. Uh, this time it's a bit of a mixed bag. I got a couple things from my mother-in-law. I got some things from the rummage sale at her place. And then I got, there's a couple things off of eBay. And I think that's it. So uh, I don't have hardly any jewelry to show you, but I'll show you what I got. Uh, this is... I thought this was a really neat piece. Uh, very tribal looking. It's got carved bone. It's probably, I'm thinking it's probably African. It's very nicely made though. And I don't know what some of these beads are made out of. The orange ones almost look like amber, but, um, but I don't know. But anyway, I paid $7 for that at the rummage sale. And then I have two very nice silver rings. That one. And uh, this one's just marked sterling. It has a really neat, kind of a, almost a brutalist look to it. I, I'm not really sure of the age of that one. It, to me, though, it looks older. But it's kind of neat. And then uh, this one is Mexican silver, and this one is signed. I don't think. I think that was a surprise when I opened the package. These are from eBay. It's A. Cazares, which I recognize the name. I know it's a decent maker, and it's really beautifully done. Nice, big, thick, heavy, well-made. And I believe I paid, I want to say, eleven fifty for both rings, free shipping. And that's it for the jewelry. Sorry, it's not a little more exciting. Um, the things that I got from my mother-in-law were this silver overlay decanter, or um, cruet, glass, ground glass stopper. Uh, this is old, and it has, <laughs> I can't get it out right now, but there's a piece of paper in there with the provenance. This was a wedding present to my mother-in-law uh, around 1951, I think, is when she got married. And this was a present from a friend of her grandmother's, and it was not new. It was an antique at that time, so I think it's pretty old. And silver overlay pieces, not not hot sellers right now. I, I just sold a piece, but it has like been sitting in my shop for years, literally. So I don't expect it to go flying off the shelves, but I like it. I still like it. It's very sweet looking. So just to clean it up a little bit, and then we'll see how it goes. And then the other thing I got from my mother-in-law, I've been kind of drooling over these dishes, I admit. Um, these are Pisgah Forest pottery dishes. They are dated 1950. That's a very nice thing about Pisgah Forest is every piece has the exact date that it was made, so you don't have to guess. Uh, they're all hand thrown and hand glazed. And what I have is, uh, I guess you'd call it a luncheon set. I have four plates, like I just showed you, and then I have four cups and saucers that look like this. There's the saucer and there's the cup and they have pink insides. Turquoise and pink, so 1950s. I love it. This would have gone perfectly in the kitchen I grew up in, which was very turquoise and pink. My mother's dream kitchen. And then there is a creamer to go with it and a sugar bowl. There's unfortunately no teapot, but it's everything but, and it's all in really good condition. Um, I've only sold one piece of Pisgah Forest before, and it seems to me that it sold very quickly. It's, you know, I mean, it doesn't sell for, some of it sells for really good money. I mean, some of it is museum quality. This, the utilitarian wear is not quite that valuable, but, um, I'd say, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to sell it. I hate to sell it all as one lot because then I have to ship it. It's really hard to ship large lots of dishes. So I may like put the 
put the plates up separately, the cups and saucers up separately, and the uh, creamer and sugar up separately. I'm not sure yet. Um, so let's see, then everything else I got at the rummage sale. And I got a few shirts for me. Their clothes are really inexpensive. And I think it's two and three dollars for most of these. And they're always, they don't put anything out unless it's in like perfect condition. Clean, nice. So um, this is a Jones, New York. Little t-shirt. I like the style and that's a color I love. This is a little kind of t-shirt thing. I'm trying to get rid of all my bratty t-shirts and wear a little bit nicer quality of clothes. And then this will be nice for fall. That feels cozy and warm. This is a um, uh, Talbot's. Talbot's. We used to call that the old lady store. But Talbot's always had really nice quality clothes. So I guess I'm entitled to shop in the old lady store now, so that's it. And those were all two and three dollars a piece for those. And let's see, oh this is a this is an extra stopper that goes <laughs> clearly there was another cruet that went with this. But anyway, now I have two stoppers. Um, got some empty jewelry boxes for free. I never turn those down. I got this hand-painted mug from Portugal. I love these. I may keep this for myself, depending on how well it microwaves. I suspect it won't microwave well at all, in which case I probably will sell it. But it's beautiful, and it's in very good condition. And that was a buck. It may have even been only 50 cents. I think she, I think she was doing the coffee cups two for a dollar. And this little book, it's called Something in Sunshine. Oh, Woven in Sunlight. <laughs> I only have one contact lens in right now. Um, so uh, this is just, I thought this was a sweet little book. It's got lots of pretty pictures of Victorian style flowers and birds in it and little quotes and bits of poetry. And don't tell anyone, but I'm probably going to cut it up at some point for art projects. I know there's part of me really hates the idea of cutting up a book because, you know, I am an author, and but I've kind of gotten over it. I've gotten to where I can throw away my own books because I have too many of them. <laughs> so I have boxes and boxes and boxes of my own books, and I don't need them. Uh, picture frame, this one was two dollars. And uh, this was my favorite, favorite piece I got. Petty point, little roses in a frame. You can do it horizontally or vertically. And it has an easel on the back so you can put it on the shelf. Just very sweet. And that was four dollars. Another picture frame. This one was three dollars, as you can see. And this one, it looks like a picture frame, but really, it's a tray. I mean, it looks like a mirror you'd hang on the wall, but it has nothing on the back. You would have to attach a hanger. They were using this as a display for some little tchotchkes. And I saw it and I said, oh, can I buy that? And they were like, um, okay, sure. So they priced it at four bucks. So, yeah, that makes a nice tray. And that's it. Told you it was a small haul. I think I told you that anyway. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like any of these items, uh, let me know. They will be in my Etsy shop shortly, uh, which is vintagedazzle.etsy.com. I have links to all my shops below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, 
share it and comment and subscribe. It's always something I forget. And that's it. All right. I'll see you again soon. Bye.